These cranes are massive. You can see them popping up out of the skyline from anywhere around the downtown area. Now, the one on campus involved in that accident was much smaller than this one here behind me. And officials say if this size of a crane collapsed, it would truly be a disaster. But they say the chances of that happening are really slim. 280 feet up in the air, these cranes tower over downtown State College. These are specialized cranes that are used when building large structures in cramped spaces. And because of their size, we're told they're well regulated by OSHA, the crane company, the contractor, and COG, the Center Region Code Office. The foundation details when it was put in the ground because it'll be staying there permanently were inspected uh, as part of their footing and foundation permit. But the crane structure itself is something that is really the jurisdiction of the Commonwealth. The contractors for the Fraser Center say OSHA has inspected this crane once so far, along with the owner. And they expect several more drop-in inspections before their project is complete. We're told the fatal crane accident on campus Friday is not typical. When you look at across the world, they've got a very good safety record. Um, they're being inspected regularly and so on. In fact, these tower cranes have computer systems inside that alerts the operator if there's a problem. I'm always concerned about anytime you're moving equipment and so on and so forth, that, you know, there's always a concern there, but I'm not unduly concerned, you know, about those cranes downtown. And these cranes are a semi-permanent fixture down here. We're told they could be here through 2016. In State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.